So aloha and welcome everyone to the free introductory evening to the Tao calligraphy field. My name is Annette Omoro and I am a co-owner of the Satori Family Wellness Center. But before I go on to introduce our presenter, um, I'd like to share a protocol with you, a spiritual protocol that the calligraphies that you see behind me and behind Dr. Gina, um, please keep them in your hearts, but not take any photos or still shots. So thank you for um, honoring our request. So thank you, thank you. So tonight we're so lucky that we have Dr. Gina Musetti. You know, she is a master teacher of the Tao Academy, but by profession, she's also a licensed registered acupuncturist, as well as a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner. And she is the owner of the Life-Centered Acupuncture Care Clinic in Honolulu. And it's a very successful business, you know, and I know that it is because of her warm and uh, compassionate, caring heart that people are drawn to her, you know, and she does, she focuses on uh, reproductive health as well as um, pain management. So if you know of anyone in need of these things, then you just refer them to her. And, you know, they're very blessed because Gina also has a uh, Tao calligraphy field. So she really um, works with her clients, you know, not only on the physical level, but also on the spiritual level. And that's the reason why I know that people keep coming back to her. And so let us welcome Dr. Gina. We're so blessed because I know she has a busy schedule, but she's here with us. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Gina, and welcome. Thank you so much, Annette. Um, I'm not sure how to, okay, let me try to change my view. Sorry, everyone. Am I set up as the speaker, Annette? Sorry, everyone, one second. Can you guys see me as like the speaker? You can see me as a speaker, Annette? Okay, great. Okay, so um, aloha. Amy, thank you so much, Amy, for always being here. Wendy, Rhea, love you, Rhea. Betty, Claire, thank you so much. Auntie Claire and Lori, maybe. Brittany, thank you, Brittany. And Naomi, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. So my name is Gina, and I'm so honored and grateful to be here with the Satori Family Wellness Center for our Tao Calligraphy Healing Field evening. And so um, I noticed in some of the announcements that go out, it says Tao Chong Wellness Evening. So Tao is just the word that our teacher, doctor, and master Ji Gong Sha is using for the source. This is his background, his experience, is that he was raised with a lot of his teachers being from the Tao's perspective. And so that's what we call the source is Tao. And the calligraphy Chang means field. So the calligraphies that are behind me create a field of healing. This is a source field. So the calligraphy that is directly behind me is greatest love. And then to one side, I have forgiveness and the other side is for harmony. So when these three calligraphy come together, it creates a source field for our healing, for our health, for our happiness, for our wellness. So if you would like to think about what area of your life you would like to focus on for the next 55 minutes, 
And then just bring that awareness to your mind, to your heart, to your lower abdomen. In our lower abdomen, we have an energy center called the lower dantian. And that means the space in your lower abdomen. The lower dantian energy center is where we store our energy. The lower dantian area is a space in your body below your belly button and above your pubic bone. So sort of in the middle of your lower abdomen and inside your body. This energy space is excellent at storing energy. We do not, aloha Sarah, thank you for joining us. We do not want to store energy in our heart area because our heart can become overheated very easily. And um, that shows up in our physical body as it could be anxiety, it could be hypertension, palpitations, thirst, um, insomnia, things of that nature. We also don't want to store energy in our head. So if you'll notice, I called the, the energy center that's below our belly button, the lower dantian. We also have a middle dantian, which is from our belly button just to the uh, base of our sternum. So like where your ribs meet and connect in the, in the center, there's a point there. So from the base of your sternum to your belly button, that is the middle dantian. The middle dantian is primarily about digestion. And we also don't want to store energy in our middle dantian. The upper dantian is our upper body, the rest of our upper body from our sternum to the top of our head. And then we also have smaller energy centers that in this practice we call soul houses. It's similar to the chakra system, but slightly different. And the soul houses also store different types of energy. And we want to make sure that the energy is flowing smoothly through all of our seven soul houses. And we also have another energy center in Chinese medicine in this practice specifically called the Y Jiao. Y W A I Jiao J I A O. The Y Jiao is a space in your back and it goes from your shoulders all the way down to your hips in front of your spinal column. So it's a big space in the body. When we have difficulties, challenges, we call them blockages in Chinese medicine, any pain in your body, difficulty in your life, difficulty in relationships, finances, a health condition, um, stuck or challenged or uncontrolled emotions. These we all will refer to just as in general, we would just call them blockages because what's happening is the chi or the energy is not moving freely through. So we have the lower Dantian, the middle Dantian, the upper Dantian. Dantian just means a space or an area. We could also refer to this as the San Jiao. So if you know anything about Chinese medicine or acupuncture, you may be familiar with the term San Jiao. So San Jiao is the three. San means three. Jiao means area. The three areas are your lower abdomen, your middle abdomen, and the upper part of your body. 
your energy needs to constantly be flowing through your body head to toe and skin to bone back and forth so last night i had the great pleasure of being able to see one of our fellow teachers twyla aloha thank you for joining us um one of our fellow teachers from the Tao Academy. His name is Shields. And Shields just kind of was spontaneously in Honolulu. And he gave a little talk and um, practice last night. And one of the things that he was kind of focusing on a little bit was the water and keeping the the water elements energy going. And by water element energy, I mean, all of the things in our body and our emotions and our life that are associated with, in Chinese medicine, what we call the water element. So the water element is composed of the kidneys and your whole nephrotic system, the kidneys, your renal tubes, your ureter, your bladder, everything that has to do with your kidneys. It also affects the lymphatic system and all the joints in our body, as well as the um, glands and our bones, our hearing and the unbalanced emotion of fear. Tamara, thank you for joining us. Oh, so exciting to see everyone. We might be able to do a demo tonight. <laughs> um, the reason this is important at this time, because we are in North um, Northern Hemisphere, it's still pretty hot. Um, but no matter where you are, even if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, um this year in general in the chinese calendar we don't have water so it's especially important to pay attention to our water elements in this year so i wanted to start out with Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much, Tamara. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please give our love to your mother. She's visiting her mom in Hilo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad she's doing better. Um, so let's start with a little practice for the water element. So we can use the sound... Um, we can use we can use the sound hey okay so there's different sounds for different systems in the body and different organs and different areas the reason i i want to use the sound hey is because hey corresponds to the first soul house the first soul house i'll just explain briefly and then we'll get into the practice the first soul house is at the base of your trunk so if you're actually sitting up on the edge of your chair, on your sit bones, with your feet on the floor, you could be sitting on your first soul house. So the, the first soul house is inside your body, just above your perineum. And that is the small space at the base of your trunk that's between your genitals and your anus. So you can actually squeeze that area a little bit and just see what it feels like. Don't like squeeze it too hard just squeeze it a little bit and that is the, where your first soul house is located basically it's kind of about the size of an average sized orange um it's actually measured according to your body so like Rhea's would be smaller mine would be bigger but it's basically the, the size of your hand when it's closed um all the measurements in Chinese medicine are according to your own body. So sometimes you might see um, it's written down that your lower dantian is 2.5 sun below your navel. 
what is a, a sun? The a sun is the width of your thumb at the uh, level of the first knuckle. Okay, so because you want to measure things according to your own body's measurement, not something, you know, outside your body. And hey is also a very powerful sound that we use for blessing a lot. If you have ever been to an event of Dr. and Master Shaw, he does one of these very powerful blessings where he, he will say, hey, <laughs> and he literally like will jump and it's so powerful. And if you've ever been the recipient of one of these hey blessings, it moves the chi through your body. So you can say, hey, because it is the first soul house, the first soul house in the soul house system is where the water element resides. And that water element also is responsible for the health and vitality of your reproductive system. So if you have had a hysterectomy, for example, or if you've had your prostate removed, or if you've had an ovary removed or something, doing this practice of hay will support your hormonal system. Or if even if you, um, let's say you're trying to conceive, or if you are going through menopause, like let's say you had um, a hysterectomy and you are now in just full-blown menopause, or even it could be that you're, you're taking a medication to block your hormones, or for whatever reason, you're experiencing excessive heat in your body. The hay sound and just using your mind and your imagination and also the power of your soul, which I'll explain in a second, the power of your soul to bring your energy back down to your first soul house. Why do we want to bring the energy back down to our first soul house? Because the first soul house also contains what we call a gear. So each soul house actually has these gears in it. And you can just imagine you're turning a gear inside this ball of light in your first soul house at the base of your trunk. And this gear is turning the, the light ball. And while it's doing that, it's cleansing and transforming your energy. So as we meant, as I mentioned a moment ago, fear is the unbalanced emotion of the water element. Calmness is the balanced emotion. You can't be calm and be afraid or terrified at the same time. Your body won't let you do it because fear has particular hormones and chemicals that are associated with it. Fear means run, fight, or hide. If you are calm, you're not fighting, you're not running, you're not looking for a place to hide. But in our daily lives and our society, we live in fear a lot because things, something could surprisingly happen throughout the day. Like, oh my gosh, you know, like somebody just pulls right out in front of you in traffic, right? That could spark that fear in you. That could elevate your um, adrenaline and your cortisol for hours. Unle uh, but not if you do a practice to bring your energy back 
down to your first soul house because when you it disturbs your heart and when your heart is disturbed your mind is disturbed in Chinese medicine in traditional Chinese philosophy we say the soul and the mind reside in the heart so when your heart is disturbed not only is your mind disturbed your soul is disturbed as well wherever your soul is <laughs> i i personally ascribe to this kind of theory that part of your soul is in your body and part of your soul might be above your body and part of your soul might still be back with the source. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Master Shah's thoughts are about that. I've never heard him talk about that. That's just my personal uh, theory. But in any case, one little incident of like throwing you into a state of fear could elevate your chemicals and hormones for fear for our okay let's say you're driving to work and that happens you get just randomly cut off you have to slam on your brakes then what happens okay you you think you're trying to calm down right and you're like okay okay that happened that happened and then you're like trying to you know walk into your office and then you drop your keys on the ground. Okay, so then you like go to pick up your keys and then you like walk into the elevator and then you trip and you twist, twist your ankle. Oh my gosh, okay. And then you go into your office and you go to make your coffee and the somebody comes up behind you. Hey, Gina, oh my God, you scared the living daylights out of me. Why? Because we have that elevated level of chemicals of fear in our body, in our bloodstream, flowing through our organs, our tissues, our muscles. We are ready. We are ready. We are ready to be, flee, fight, or hide. <laughs> okay, so Glenda, thank you so much, Glenda, for joining us. Okay, let me just check. Okay, not quite enough yet. If we get two more people, we can do a demo tonight from the Dow Calligraphy field. So if anybody would like to invite somebody to join us, please feel free to share the link. Um, we count, um, Tamara's mother is the one. Oh, Tamara's mother. Okay, wonderful. joining you. Okay, Tamara's mother, thank you so much for joining us also. Okay, so let's do this fraction. <laughs> I've been talking for 23 minutes. Okay, so what we're going to do is if you're wearing glasses, try to take them off. And you're going to have your eyes closed. I'm going to try to keep my eyes open since I'm talking to you. But basically, you want to close your eyes because you want to direct your energy inwards. I'm going to just say one more thing about the first soul house. Okay, you want to visualize this ball of light and the color is going to be blue, like azure blue, or it could be like a medicine Buddha blue, or it could be a deep sapphire blue. It could be the blue of when you look out at the ocean and the sun is shining on it. It could be that kind of blue. Whatever kind of, you look up the sky, whatever kind of blue you resonate with and you love, just bring that color of blue into this ball of light in your first soul house. So just try to imagine that. And at the same time, you're going to imagine this ball spinning, 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 spinning. It's spinning because it's transforming the energy and it when you have a strong soul first soul house all of your other seven soul houses are stacked up on your first soul house so you want the energy to be moving and circulating in there so that your heart can then relax why because we have a balance of water and fire in the body 
and that energy needs to be constantly flowing. The fire and water need to be constantly flowing. When you have a strong, solid foundation in your first soul house, your heart can relax. Your heart can open. When your heart relaxes and opens, your mind relaxes and opens. Your soul re relaxes and opens. Why is it important to relax and open our soul? Because our soul is the boss. And when your heart, your heart is the message center. It is where we receive messages from our soul because the soul is the boss. Master Shah always says, heal the soul first, and then the healing of the mind and body will follow. My very first healing with Dr. Shaw, I did by myself from a book. I had never met him. I had never heard of him. I had no idea who he was. Two of my friends called Jennifer gave me, told me about this book and I read it and I healed my 15 year knee pain by doing the practice in that book in 2010, 15 year knee pain. It has never come back. It took about two months to heal. It has never come back. Why? Because I healed the soul of my knee. Okay, so into the practice. Sit down straight and relax. Inhale all the way into your first soul house. Smile to your heart. Smile into your brain. And bring that picture of what you're working on into your heart. You want to improve a relationship, improve your finances, improve a particular health condition. What does that look like? What does that feel like? How do you feel once that thing is resolved? Bring that picture, bring that feeling into your heart. Feel it. Feel the relief of having that thing done. Whatever it is, it's no longer a concern. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy now that. Da, 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 da. I'm so grateful now that. Da, 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 da. And just relax your heart, relax your mind. I'll say, relax your soul. You may say, Gina, how do I relax your soul? You just tell your soul, dear my soul, relax. Dear my mind, chill out. Dear my heart, slow down. Unless you already have a really slow heart rate. If you do have low blood pressure or like a heart rate that is too slow, just say, dear my heart, balance, 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 balance. Okay, and then we're going to go down. Down into your abdomen, liver, spleen. I love you. Please relax. My whole digestive system. I love you. Please relax. Small intestine, large intestine. Relax. Kidneys, urinary bladder, reproductive system. I love you. Please relax. All my hormonal systems. I love you. Please relax. Okay, now I want you to breathe into your first soul house. So you can picture that ball of blue light nourishing all the water elements in your body. Every cell contains water. Whoa, okay, you got it. I saw, I saw all these blue lights flickering. Everyone's cells are turning on as the blue light 
and the water element in all your cells just came on, just came online. Yes, we're being nourished by the blue lights. The blue lights. There's so many spectrums of light we can't see. This is invisible light. If you, if you, when you develop your third eye, you can see it. We have to do a little bit more practice on the brain to do that. But it starts in the first little house. You have to have a strong foundation. Keep your feet on the floor. The base of your, behind the ball of your foot, foot, pretend this is my foot, kidney one acupuncture point. The point is called bubbling spring. This is where we absorb the water energy of Mother Earth. Visualize the spring water right up into your feet, into your bones, into your legs, flowing, 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 flowing up into your first soul house like a wave. And then Spiraling up your spinal column to the top of your head, to the top of your brain. And then go down in your brain, go down in your brain. Blue light, blue light, spiraling around in your brain. Touch the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth and let this water energy flow down. See, already the saliva. Beautiful, strong, vibrant. This is the nectar of our body when we infuse our bot our saliva with this light coming i can feel it in the top of my head blue light spinning 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 put the tip of your tongue to the roof of your mouth gently let the water flow down down into your throat energy center we call it the fifth soul house down into your heart center fourth soul house down into your belly button center we call third soul house second soul house below your belly button where the lower dantian area and then all the way into the first soul house and then squeeze bring up a little the first soul house so tighten just the very base of your pelvis a little bit first soul house energy squeeze okay and then relax but keep a little bit of uplift feeling tension in your um, perineum but relax your heart relax your neck relax your shoulders your jaw your face your forehead your head Gregory Wong number 15 thank you Gregory you did it for us you did it for us Gregory we're gonna have a demo tonight now thank you thank you thank you everyone okay so let's do the sound I'm gonna use the sound hey and we're going to say, yay, Gregory says, greatest love, da I, right here behind me, da I, you can't see it because the camera's not on it. And mahalo, thank you, thank you, thank you, Gregory, greatest love to you too. Okay, hey, I'm going to say hey, singly, like three times. Then we'll say hey, 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 so we'll hey, 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 like three times. Then if you know the hey, ya, hey, ya, if you know that, you can sing it. If you don't, just listen, relax. But basically, hey, ya, ya is the sound of our heart. We're going to say, hey, ya, hey, ya, hey, ya, yo. Yo is the Y jout. The, so the energy is going to flow from your first soul house up to your heart. Open your heart. Flow into the Y jout in your back and cleanse, cleanse. Cleanse the energy of the first, second, third, fourth soul house. Send it back. The Y Jiao is like an ocean of your body. Sand Jiao's are like seas. The Y Jiao is the ocean. So you could imagine, you know, there's like an inland sea, right? And then the sea has the river that flows to the ocean. And the ocean cleanses the water. Okay, so let's do the sound. Power. Inhale all the way into your first solo house, the base of your trunk, your perineum. Hey. 
Hey, H-E-I is the sound of the water element of the first soul house. Visualize that blue light ball spinning in your first soul house, supporting your spinal column, supporting all the vertebrae in your spine, supporting the tendons attached to your spine, supporting the discs, supporting all the joints in your body and bringing a smile to your face because you are calm. You know, that happens to me all the time on the freeway or wherever, you know, people just cut in. I don't, I don't have that <gasps> reaction anymore. I'm just like, God bless. Have a good day. Get wherever you're going safely. Please hurt no one along the way. Because I try to be in a calm state as much as possible to be in the, the source field or to bring the source field into my fields, right? We can bring the source field into our field the more and more we practice whatever kind of practice you do. Um, visualization, meditation, Tai Chi, Qigong, any kind of thing that just makes you calm and focused to where you kind of just are able to let go of any sort of negative thoughts, feelings, emotions. Okay, inhaling, we're going to do that two more times with the hey, inhale, all the way into your first soul house, smile to your soul, heart, mind, and body. Ready, inhale. Exhale, hey, hey. spinning 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 the blue light ball cleansing 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 your energy transforming fear to calmness and relax oh saray wonderful thank you so much saray for joining us love you love you love you we're gonna do a demo in just a minute i hope i don't go over time Okay, perfect. We have plenty of time. Great. Okay, and then we'll do the third hey. Inhale. Remember to visualize that blue light ball spinning with all the love in your heart. This ball is the greatest light, light ball. And you may have a greatest light, light ball in your first soul house if you do turn it on. And we're going to do one more inhale. The last one for the single hey. Inhale. Hey. And I just want to check, Auntie Annette, um, or anybody, can you just tell me? Can you hear when I'm doing the hey? Because I realize sometimes those zooms. Yes, you we can. can. Oh, okay. we can hear Excellent. you. Okay, perfect. I'll just put that on just in case. Okay. Okay, great. So now we did the single hey. Now we're going to do hey, hey, hey. And then we're going to do the hey, ya, yeah, hey, ya, yeah, hey, ya. Yeah. So the energy is going to be going from the first soul house all the way through second soul house, third soul house, to fourth soul house. Bright light is going to burst forth from your heart chakra then we're going to say yo and it's going to go down the back and be washed 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 we're going to create this flow of energy in our body strengthening our water elements for the year 2024 because we're lacking in the water element so we need to strengthen our bones Strengthen our kidneys, smile into your kidneys, smile into your bladder, smile into your reproductive system. If you're having any like symptoms of heat, like insomnia, um, sweating, dryness, like dry eyes, dry mouth, um, dry cough, um, also your brain, your brain, you know, we don't, I don't talk about this enough, but the brain. So when we're developing our kidneys, 
our, you know, in utero, our kidneys are formed, our spinal column is formed, and then our brain is formed. So the brain and the spinal column come out of the kidneys. So that's why we send the, the love, water, light from Mother Earth. Blue, light, love, water, nourishing the power of yin. We have yin-yang balance, right? Water is yin, fire is yang. Water flows down, fire flows up. We have too much fire all the time. <laughs> so we need to bring in more water, strengthen the yin, cool our body down, cool our emotions down. Sleep peacefully. Sleep soundly. Don't know bad dreams because your heart is peaceful because your water element is strong and vibrant. Okay, so now we'll do the hey, 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 okay? So when you, okay, just lift up your perineum a little, tuck in your pelvis a little, like just like back towards your sacrum, the lower, lower abdomen, just bring it back a little towards your sacrum, feet on the floor. And we're going to do hey, 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 okay? You got to send that light ball spinning, blue light, and it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger, okay? So it's... It, Normally, it's like the size of your hand when it's closed, but we want to make it a little bit bigger. We're going to bring it out beyond our body. We want to grow our light balls. We want to grow our energy centers. You want to be within your light. The light is within us, and we are within the light at the same time, okay? So keep your perineum, I call it closed or lifted, and then you're going to relax. And in big inhale, we're going to do hey, hey, hey. Inhale. Hey, hey, hey. This is the light ball spinning. Okay, second time. Inhale. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, and relax. Okay, last time for hey, hey, hey. Inhale. Hey. Relax, but keep it going, spinning. It's got momentum. It's got inertia. The more we turn it on and keep spinning it, spinning it, spinning it, spinning it, spinning it, eventually it'll go on its own. It takes time. It takes practice, but it'll do it. We have to train our bodies. We have to train our energy. We have to train our energy centers, just like we train ourselves to do things like, you know, learning a language we ha we, or whatever it is that your profession is. You have to learn how to do things, but then eventually your body takes over, just knows how to do it. Yeah, you know, I've been studying Italian for a few years now. I talked to my teacher. I don't have to think about it too much. I'm missing words. My grammar is all messed up, but I can, you know, the words come. I don't have to think about it because I train myself. Akara. Is it Akara? Oh no, that's Jan. So I don't have my glasses on. I know Akara is really busy right now. So for all of us that know Akara, let's send her some love tonight. I know she's super, super busy. Ah. <sighs>
and Akara, if you're watching this later, we love you, we love you, we love you. Okay, so welcome, my lovely friend Jan. Okay, so let us do the hey ya, hey ya, hey ya yo. And I'll just explain it really quickly one more time. So hey is the first little house, the base of the trunk, the root chakra. We're visualizing a beautiful ball, a brilliant blue light there supporting the yin in our body, supporting the foundation of our body, supporting our ability to be nourished, to have enough fluid in our body so that we don't get like stuck. You know, it's sometimes we get like the brain fog, it's, 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 the circulation isn't going, you know, coughing, the circulation isn't going, developing phlegm in certain areas of your body. I'll tell you like, if your body has a tendency in Chinese medicine, we call it like to create blockages or to create nodules or to create phlegm and it's creating phlegm in one area of your body, right? I mean, there are a lot of organs doctors like to just remove, but anyway, sometimes they need to be taken out because it's just gotten too bad. So let's say, um, you have a tendency to like builds up, you know, in a certain area of your body and the doctor goes, Oh, you know, let's just remove that organ. It's okay. You don't really need it anyway. So they take that organ out. Well, then what do you know? The next thing down the line, another organ starts to develop stuff getting stuck in it. Then the doctor says, Oh, you know, you don't really need that organ either. We'll just take it out. Then, then what? Then the stuff that your body is creating starts to go into an organ that you can't remove. Then what are you going to do? No, don't let the stuff stick in your body. Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the hay is your first soul house, the base of your trunk. Ha, ah, I'm going to say, hey, ya, ya. In this case, I'm using ya for the heart. Envision the healing field around you. The source field is around you. If you're here, the source field is open and available to you for this hour. Thank you for being here with us. Thank the source field. The energy that is in this room and the energy that is coming to you right now is because Dr. Shaw has created this field for us. And I'm so grateful to be a part of it and to be able to bring it to so many amazing people. And if any of you out there, have a love peace harmony field or a uh, Dow calligraphy field and you want some help getting it out there more let's you know let's work together we you know Lori has one I have one Leah has one I don't know if we have any more in um, uh, Hawaii or not but anyway I'm so happy with this community. We are making such a difference. It's so amazing. Okay, so hey, ya is a heart. So then we're gonna go first soul house, second soul house, third soul house, fourth soul house. The light is gonna burst through your heart. It's gonna open your heart. It's gonna expand your energy field. And then we're gonna go yo. And yo is the back, the Y jiao, the ocean. So the energy is going to go from the first little house up to your heart, spinning your heart chakra, light balls around, opening your heart, cleansing your heart, letting go of anxiety, transforming depression, any kind of, I don't feel good enough, or I'm depressed into, I love myself so much. And we're going to send all the negative information to the Y Joe where it will be cleansed and transformed. And then just keep remember that spinning, 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 spinning in your first soul house to transform any negative thoughts, emotions, feelings, judgments 
into I love my life so much and the, you know whatever the person who cuts you off you don't it doesn't bother you anymore okay here we go <laughs> if you don't know this just relax and just relax okay okay inhale Hey uh, Golden light ball in your heart spinning 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 your heart chakra the center of your chest your fourth soul house spinning 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 bringing greatest love Inhale Hey, ah, hey, ah, yo, down your back, yo, down to your tailbone and all the way back to your perineum, yo, smiling to your heart and soul your mind and body inhale hey ya hey ya yo feel your body your energy being cleansed by the source field light love inhale all the way into your first soul house Hey, ah, uh, hey, ah, uh, hey, ah, uh, yo. Just relax. I'm going to sing that through one time smoothly, okay? Just let all your energy centers relax from the top of your head to the base of your trunk, from your bai hui to your hui yin, from front to back, from your belly button to your ming men, from the top of your shoulders to the bottoms of your feet. Let your body relax in greatest love and light. With greatest gratitude, our bodies are miracles. And we have the power to transform any aspect of our lives and our bodies. Relax. Hey, uh, uh, Any air of your body that's feeling any kind of discomfort, pain, stiffness, tightness, whatever it is, just visualize the golden light flowing into that area, 
melting away any tension, tightness, stiffness, pain, like butter in the sun. Know that you are loved. Know that you are immensely loved beyond comprehension. Love every cell in your body and every cell in your body loves you. We are made of the source. The source is within us the source is love, unconditional love. We just need to remember we are unconditional love. Okay, um, let me see. May I have a volunteer that could help me for a moment? Calling anyone who would like to help me for a moment. <clears throat> you get extra um, chocolate chip cookies if you volunteer. <laughs> um, Brittany, thank you. Okay, Brittany. Okay, Brittany, please pick a number between one and five. And then pick another number between either um, between one and four. Okay, what's the number, Brittany? 32. Okay, excellent. Glenda, no. Tamara. Oh, we have two people with Tamara. Okay, great. Tamara and her mother both receive a demo. So what is a demo? The demo is that I'm going to deliver a Dow Technology Golden Light Treasure from the source field. <laughs> okay, so Tamara and mother, please um, make a request. So you can make a request for a condition, like what happened to you before, if it's still affecting you, if you have any remnants of that condition, or an area of your body, hand, foot, nose, tongue, ear, Throat, or a organ, liver, heart, spleen, lung, kidney, small intestine, gallbladder, spleen, stomach, pancreas. So a condition, a part of the body, an organ, or a system, cardiovascular system musculoskeletal system, hormonal system. Okay, Tamara, do you each have one thing picked? You're nodding. Okay, great. I can't see that clip. Maybe I put my glasses on. <laughs> but are you on your phone? Maybe that's why. Yeah, we're on our phone. We we both, both pick. Um, do you want to know? It doesn't matter. You can share if you would like to. She eyes because she just had cataract surgery. Eyes. Okay, great. And for you tomorrow? Huh? Did you pick an area also? Yeah. 
For me, um, I think my lung. Lungs. Okay, wonderful. Okay, great. So what's going to happen is I'm going, okay, you can go ahead and mute yourself now, Tamar. So I'm going to create a golden light ball and golden liquid spring from this source field, specifically from the greatest love calligraphy. I'm not doing it. Upstairs is doing it. Okay. I say I, I don't mean I, I mean we, they, the source. Um, they're going to create a golden light bulb for Tamara's lungs and for Tamara's uh, mother for her eyes. So everybody just s relax, have your eyes closed, and you can imagine just sending love. Just imagine your heart, golden light, radiating from your heart to Tamara and her mother to heal and rejuvenate quickly and easily. We'll also send out a message of love and support to our dear friend Akara as she's making a transition um, in her life and we're so supportive of her, so excited for her. <laughs> and in the giving you get so when you offer love, that's what you get. All right, you so just relax. Hey, I oh. If your third eye is open, and if you can see this golden light bulb, two of them forming golden liquid spring. If you can see this, let me know afterwards hey, uh, hey, uh, yo. very powerful tomorrow hey, uh, yo. Beautiful. We are so loved. We are so blessed. <sighs> okay, just a couple more seconds. Hey, uh, I can't do this as, as fast as Master Sha. Okay, takes a little time. Okay, ready. Okay. Tamara and your mom, relax. Love you both so much. Thou golden light bulb, golden liquid spring of lungs for Tamara and of eyes for Tamara's mom. Transmission! Thou order, join as one. Transmission. Okay, wonderful. So, these are not things we, uh, we're not going to see immediate effects from right this second. Um, and Tamar Tamara's uh, connection is a little bit choppy, so I'm not going to ask her to explain. Um, but maybe if there's somebody here... Um, Claire or anybody, Lori, Auntie Annette, Brittany, Saray, anybody, Jan, you know, Sarah, Rhea, anybody, did you notice anything? Heaven always hears you. So would you like to say something? When you did the transmission, I felt it for sure in my third eye. Wow, thank you so much, Jan. But the energy was definitely moving hard, I mean, and fast. Yes. <laughs> Good, powerful. Amazing. And Jan is a brand new person with us here for the first time. Thank you, Jan. So, um, 
Y'all got to speak up now. My goodness. <laughs> okay, so Gregory, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I am going to bow down tonight because that is what I do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, the source. And thank you, all the energies of the source field that help us. Greg just said, my sciatica pain went away. What else can you ask for? Okay, thank you everyone. I went five minutes over, I'm so sorry, and I apologize to everybody who's missing soul marketing. Auntie Annette, would you close, please? You can oh, read the comments. That was so uh, powerful. As notes. you were getting ready for the, the light bulb transmissions, oh gosh, it was so powerful, so bright. So, you know, we are extremely blessed. And, you know, Dr. Gina is a um, traditional Chinese medicine practitioner. So she is so knowledgeable on the five elements. So we are very fortunate that you know she could explain all of these things for us so we thank you dr gina and we wait for next month when you can come back and teach us more so thank you so we all say thank you thank you thank you love you love you love you and you know we're hoping that all of you will join us again so aloha and mahalo so thank all of you for joining us this evening we are extremely blessed to have this many people on because we're able to then offer these wonderful transmissions. So thank you, Dr. Gina. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Love you, love you, love you. Mahalo. Aloha. Aloha.